Carolina. It's got an incredible history and heritage on voting rights. There's an active movement. Ben and Jerry's is able to partner with organizations like North Carolina NAACP and Reverend Barber. Voting rights is not just a black issue. If you care about progressive policies, if you care about health care, if you care about criminal justice reform and public education and living wages, you have to care about voting rights because voting determines who gets in office and who gets in office determines the kind of policies that come out of the offices. So voting is connected to everything and that's why we're, it's like empowerment, it's like the flavor. You got to mix it all together. Some of the money from the ice cream goes to the movement. We're looking to bring national attention to this issue when you have huge sums of money drowning out the voice of everybody else. It undercuts our democracy because it's not really government of the people, by the people, for the people. It's government of the money, by the money, for the money. And when you when you suppress the vote, when you deliberately pass laws that prevent people from voting, it changes, you know, we now have a democracy in name only. And it's only when we get money out of politics and we make voting accessible to everybody that will be the democracy we're supposed to have. It's to empower all people in this country, particularly people whose voices are not heard, who are being prevented from vote, whose vote is being suppressed. African Americans, Latinos, low-income people, students, and that's what this whole movement is about. The money out movement has been mostly white people, and the voters in movement has been mostly people of color. And the beautiful thing that's starting to happen now is that those two movements are coming together. Civil disobedience, making the decision to break the law, is a response to an unjust law. When the laws are unjust, you need to break the law. It's a very serious statement. It's the strongest statement that a citizen can make. And we made it. And permittable area. If you do not move, you'll be subject to arrest. This is your first warning. For me, that was the heart of what happened in Democracy Awakening. The NAACP and a whole lot of people of color were there uh, with. Uh, us white guys, and it was wonderful uh, because the reality is that we're just not going to win unless we work together.